Hello guys, today I'm going to replace the fuel filter for this vehicle. This is a 1988 Toyota pickup truck. Uh, as you can see, 222 RE engine. After recommended, after we replace the fuel pump for the vehicle on some uh, vehicle like this, we should change the fuel filter. Also recommended to when uh, we change the fuel pump for uh, this vehicle, as you can see, I never drop the, the tank. As you can see on the fuel cap right here. Yep, we have uh, three screws right here one, two, three. Just uh, take them up, and then from inside here, and you can uh, able to pull out the, the, the fuel hose right here and remove this cover. And on each side of the bath, and you can see we have uh, right here one, one bolt right here, two, and two in the back for each side, the right side four, and the left side four. And two guys on each side, or even just only you get uh, some uh, something to support the back. Lift up this side a little bit, but before that, and you need to tighten something in the back. When the the bath on the front vehicle is higher like this, and it will slide to the back. And also four more bolts to remove the rear bumper, just in case the bath is coming back and scratch it on the fan, right, uh, the pin pin right here, and you can see remove the bumper and in the under the car remove the spare tire and use something to tighten the, the bath in the back here just in case in the front and leap high like this did not fly back make sure the bath did not slide back to the, in the to the back of the vehicle and support something make sure safety first and then we can able to change the fuel pump okay go back to the fuel filter and uh the reason why I made this video today because the car, the fuel filter, is located in very, very dif difficult location. You can see with a flashlight on hand, let me turn it on. And this is an intake manifold. And down there, as you can see, on the white label right there, that's uh, the starter. And the fuel filter is located under the intake manifold and above the starter. And as you can see, even on the filter, the light in and light out is we don't have the room right here to turn the ratchet or turn the tool whatever in front here also but try the easiest way they design like this and at least they have the, the way to remove the easiest way if you don't know and you might get in habit with this okay guys first of all to remove the front passenger wheel as you can see i put it right there and also this cover i have a four 10 millimeter bolt but in this case there's only two for me because some uh, work before someone had missing one or broke one something like that and now it's only two left the the cover i just so i show you guys it, one beer 10 millimeter millimeter bolt right here and one right here and one here broken before some by someone and one right here that means right now it's only left two for me one right here and one right here this one is missing as you can see the whole even in uh yeah okay anyway okay as you can see when we take the wheel up more room for we stay around here and to work with the fuel filter right there you guys see let me use the light you are easy to see the filter right there okay guys right now i have the light for you guys easy to see the filter right here yep the fuel filter right here and then this is the light in this one from the tank and this is the light out for uh, to the, the fuel rail so and on each side we have a 10 uh, 17 millimeter bolt one on this side and one on this side and also 12 millimeter bolt for fuel filter attached to the engine block as you can see right there the one down here yep, one right here and another one up there even later I don't know I can find out what tool to uh, look, break up the, the 12 millimeter bolt on top here but only this way it's easier for you guys to remove the uh, fuel filter on this vehicle okay guys so the tool I'm using right here this is uh, the long run with the 92T uh, when we do this you know that with the 92 teeth on a yeah you can see it that mean 360 uh circle divided by 92 what i mean that means we have very small angle when we use the tool also we have a flat cap like this but as you can see inside here it's not a sit point and not a sit point like this that's why when we use the tool it's more convenient more on the tight room like tight place like this but I wanted you if you try to turn it but if the, the bolt and not too, too tight don't try it with this um you know i don't know how many points here but if you turn it you might damage the bolt or damage the nut let me try with this make sure the open way first uh loosen way first and yeah, counterclockwise okay and you 
can see 17 millimeter bow but if you know that in the camera you say 17 but never believe might someone some kind of damage the bow and change it to the uh, different side so the different side and then you you try to fit the two next step and do it of course the, the two are bigger it is smaller you know way but it one step and might damage the head okay let me try it yeah i got it it's not too tight guys let me try to spin by hand and see what's going on be careful some vehicle for years old because yeah it looked now yep and you can, you can see the field drop right, right, right there yep but i don't i don't want to take that all the way out right now because we never know the back one let me break the back one also Yeah, the back one also loose. Oh shit, my wife. The back one is still tight. My hand. Yep, this two are dead. That is job, man. Okay, now. I don't, I don't, I don't have time, too much time to deal with us. I don't want to take too much time to deal with us. I'd rather use the air ratchet and get it in out, in out, maybe. Yep, let's try it. Yeah, I have this ratchet that we call the impact ratchet. It's very small and strong. But when you guys, if you guys see on the YouTube some tool like this, and you guys can get it from uh, Amazon. But I uh, should tell you guys, don't use it too for uh, for the tools. You know, like some 12 millimeter bolt or not, or 14. You should use the ratchet to pick it up first before you use it. This one to do for uh, like. Uh, it takes time on spinning, spinning by hand or something like that. And if you use this for tours, you, you tighten the bolt, tighten the nut, or you loosen, you break it up, break it loose, did to it, and not that long. Maybe about years, two years, it will be. I, for about, it's a seven year now, but I, I bought already three like this. But I love it anyway. It's small and fat, and yeah, make sure the, the loosen way first. Yep, this one a loosen way. Let me mean the one in the back, see. Yep, it fit perfect in there. Got it. Wow, wow. Yep, and you can see. It came right out. And make sure the washer. For some reason, we, we need to save them. Yeah, here the washer. And here. If you don't have the, the air tool like me, you can spin. Take some time to spin by hand. Yep, this is the back one. Uh, the light out from the filter. Yep, save it, put it somewhere. And what about the front one? Light in. You can see right here and make sure when the two spinning no any electrical wire or something on the the way the tool travel okay when i talk to you guys about that i remember one guy he come to help me like uh work on car he tried to use the impact oh no he, he turned by the ratchet yeah it's right here he turned the the bolt and nut, I, I, I don't remember exactly. He turned the bolt and nut by the ratchet like this. You can see, by the ratchet like this. And in the back here with the sensor, the, I remember on that vehicle, the knock sensor in the back of the ratchet like this. Man, I should say, that guy, I, I have no idea. He keep turning, turning until the, the bolt travel and until the ratchet hit the, the sensor, he still keep turning, turning until the sensor came off. Man, woke up. Okay, anyway, now, I dropped one washer in there, but yeah, this is a lie, uh, lie in and lie out. And now I don't worry about the bottom one. But for me, again, when I work on car, uh, I recommend you guys right now you see on the filter, it's two bolt, two tell me the bolt. Uh, <clears throat> tight the filter to the engine block. And you see, the like I said earlier, I said the bottom one is more easier, but the top one is more harder. We should leave the, the bottom one tight like that. And, completely take the top one out because if you if you try to take the bottom one out first and the difficult one after that it's very hard to, to take it out okay guys right now i have the ratchet in here to uh, get ready to break that uh, 12 millimeter bolt for the for the filter attached to the engine block and let me take the ratchet out for you guys can see what i have right here yeah first the ratchet to make sure which way for the blues yeah counterclockwise and leave it alone other than that and you the short 12 mm meter socket but what is it even yeah right here 
Yeah, this one is six, six points, so millimeter socket. Yeah, this one is good. Working on cars, we should use the six point like this. We shape for the boldness, then I bend it like then uh, 12 points, something like that. I don't know, or even the lens right here. If the bolt nuts is too tight, you know that. And as you can see, we want to short one, and I put the three uh, in advancing, I put with the five in, I mean third or eight. And I push it in first, straight to the bolt, right there. Well, this is, yep, right there. And right now, even I, I can see the end of the, the, the suspension and only fuel it. Let me fuel it and put the rocket in and see what's going on. Let me take this light. Put it somewhere yep, right there. Yeah, there is some page like this. It just takes some time, like, if you try to get it done right away, maybe no. Yep, okay. Loosen way, everything tight. The socket straight in. No crooked, no uh, up angle. And try it. And um, also, something tight like this, be careful your hand. Get hit something, you can hurt, get hurt yourself, okay? I got, wow. Man, it's super tight, guys. Just 12 millimeter. I got, it's loose. Yeah, I got it. As you can see, like I say, if the bolt is tight like that, we use a 12 point socket or like the tool earlier. Oh no, it pop out. When it pop out, and then the bolt has to be damaged. And we have the back new. Oh shit, right now. Now it's still tight. Let's see. Now, in this case, right now I cannot use the air rocket because it's better closer to the vehicle frame. I have to take slowly. I slowly my hand like this until we feel it's, it's sharp and spinning. Yeah, look like it came up. I don't know. Yep, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Yep, I got this here, guys. Yep, this is the top one. And what about the bottom one? The bottom one right here. That use the same, same, uh, extension, or you just worry about your hand in here. Hit something, you can add more, longer out here, easy turn. But let me see if it's too hard. I, I should rather have more tension on it. Yeah, you can see right here. And do this with your hand, like hold up like this. If you hit like this, the battery then you hit up like this, okay? If you hit like this, you might be okay. I got ah, what for this one at 36 years, I don't know the game before man. But somehow Why? Oh shit, let me see. Okay guys, let me go back with the long ascension and see what's going on. Yep, go back with the long ones. I can use it from outside here. Let's see. Okay, not going from right here right now. Let me turn the camera a little bit so you can see my hand. Yeah, from here. Right here, right? Okay. If you guys your vehicle, you have never done it before. Or maybe you you done it with a different way. Maybe if you try to asset the remove remove the fuel filter from the top of the engine. No, that way so suck. It's the only big way to remove the the passenger front wheel and yeah right here the filter is out okay that's all i i believe the detail enough on this uh video to re replace the fuel filter on this vehicle and i don't really need to put the how to put the new one in as of course you i don't stay on in front of the screen to to what until the, how i get the job done with the new one installed but anyway we don't really worry about you see this one is say in and this one is say out right here. That means light in and light out, you never get wrong. Because you see, it, it's, uh, on the top one is it's a pink one. And the bottom one is a dirt one. Why well, didn't make that? Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me uh, put a little bit on the video so you guys can see out here. Okay, I got it from uh, Toyota. He has a customer bring it to me. I, I don't really, really know where, what the dealer he get for, but I know that's a Toyota for sure, and you can see. It say in, in opposite that mean like night, like knee, and right here they say uh, it say out opposite. You can able, you cannot read the word because in 
in, you really weigh it in, but you read this way, it's say knee. You know, this one is knee, knee nine, but it's like this in. And now, okay, this is the new one, same way, and you can see on the old one here, it's in, yep, and out, okay, and come with the new uh, washer, okay, and that's all. Look back in here again, and you can see front wheel remove, and the collar there remove. You guys room to put your hand in, and right there now, the starter, the filter, and this is the easiest way to replace the air filter, a fuel filter on this vehicle. It's no way else. Believe me, don't. Uh, let me show you on the top of the engine again. Yeah, you can see right there, the light is still uh, leave it in there. And you can see all wiped out there. On top here, no way you turn the tool to look up the filter bowl and to remove it. We can do, able to do this, but if you do from the bottom there, it takes you about like, if you continue to do it, maybe half an hour or maybe four or five minutes it's done. If you uh, start from the top here, it might take you a few hours, maybe three, four hours for sure. Or maybe you get on, you ask it from the top here, maybe you don't have right angle to turn the tool for right angle for the socket. Again, if the, the bowl like this and not like that, you have to straight up the, the socket. If the socket a little crooked like this, should not turn it. No matter the socket turn what it doesn't, but the we call the up angle should not turn it. No matter you use the sit point, sit point socket. Okay, that's it guys for the video. I'm thinking, oh man, I forgot this right here. And the flat on me, no more battery for nothing. Okay, anyway. Uh, that's it guys for this video and uh, if you have a uh, same model or whatever model around this model year you just go ahead and uh, try try to do try to do the, the easiest way first and uh, it might get your job done. Alright thanks for watching guys see you guys next time bye bye